Greetings folks. We're going to make a header component today. Starting off with a blank app. First off we need to go into our app settings. Go down and enable components. Okay, now that that is done, we're going to go ahead and create a new component. Change this height. And we're going to add a custom text property. Just go ahead and name this text. Now we have a color property. Go ahead and set that to color. So we have two custom properties. One that is text and one that is color. Go ahead and throw in a back arrow and a label with some text in it. Make that text a little bit bigger and center it. And we will change the arrow so that it will act as a back arrow. We're going to go ahead and set up the color properties for both the arrow and the label. It will be header.color and we'll do the same thing for text. For the label it will be header.text this time. And we'll go ahead and change the fill. And we'll just go to our default screen, screen one, and insert our header component. Go ahead and put two more screens in. And we're going to set a collection. So in our collection, we have setting the ID, display name, a color for each screen as well. Now we've set that collection. So in order for the text and the color to change from screen to screen, we'll use a lookup function that'll look in the collection that we just created. For when the screen is equal to the app, I gotta capitalize the A there, app period active screen it will return the display name close that go ahead and copy this now we will set a lookup function for the color let's go ahead and change from display name to color and now it's returning red and it says first screen go ahead and Copy this header component onto the next two screens. Here we have a blue color and a green color. Just make this text label a little bit bigger. And there, then that's displaying correctly. So a simple little header component where the text and the color both change from screen to screen.